morning everyone, this is Bremster and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle by Rodrigo Mahu called Arrows vs Thermos and this is an arrow thermo puzzle. Um, there's not really much to mention. Um, the Entropic Power Lines puzzle pack is going on um, and will be going on for a, a few more days. Um, I'm recording well in advance as always so um, yeah details for the pack is below. Um, I recently had to do a administration change on my channel um, to keep the uh, YouTube gods happy and that has resulted in a lot of my comments being altered. Um, so yeah, uh, sorry for anyone who was inconvenienced by that. It's just something that happens. Um, hopefully everything is good now. Um, apart from that, um, yeah, puzzle. So, uh, Rodrigo Mahu's Arrows vs. Thermos. This is one he submitted to me a few months ago when I was asking for easier puzzles. I've had a run of hard puzzles recently, so I thought it's time to drag out one of the easy ones. Um, I was told this is almost gas level, so this could be a very short video. I will find out. This could be one of the shortest videos I've done in a while. I've had some short ones, so who knows? Um, people enjoy them. I enjoy them. We'll find out together. Less rambling will make it even shorter. Um, so yes, what have we got? We've got normal Sudoku rules in every box, in every row, and in every column. The digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. We have arrows. The digits that are placed on an arrow, you sum them up, and that will be the number that has to go into that arrow circles. So the sum of these four digits will go into here. The sum of these two digits will go into here. Digits can repeat along an arrow if allowed by other Sudoku rules. Uh, digits on thermos must strictly increase from the bulb to the tip. So along this thermo, um, the that means that this digit will be higher than this digit, this digit will be higher than this digit, and all the way along the thermo. Digits cannot re repeat along thermos because they must strictly increase. Um, that's what we've got to go on. Let's give this a shot. So where to start? Um, this appears to be, though, those, you can have three repeats on this arrow. Oh no, it's this arrow. Yeah, this arrow for sure. These are three digits that all have to be different, that all see each other. And these are two digits that have to be different, that all see each other. So the minimum I can put on these are one, two, and three, totaling six. The minimum I can put on those one and two, totaling three. Six plus three is nine. The maximum I can put in there is nine. Uh, three in this, this is a one, two, three, triple. This, which means three must go in those, which means that cannot be a three. And this is a one, two pair. So that's a good start. Um, and we've got a nine here. Um, that means this is now a minimum of three. Actually, it means that is now a minimum of three. Ah, okay, so now I've got the same thing. The minimum I can put on here is one, two, three, totaling six. And the minimum now I can put here is three because I can't use one or two. So this is a three. This is one, two, three, six, three, six plus three. This is also a nine. Um, this one, two is looking over here. This becomes the three. There is no three here either. This is a one, two, three looking down. So the minimum I can put there is four. The minimum I can put there is four. But the maximum I can put there is eight. So this has to be four and four to make eight, because if I increase any of those by one, then this has to either go up, which it can't do, or down, which it cannot do, because they can't see too much. So those are both four. That's kind of cool. So these now see one, two, three, four, eight, and nine. That sees one, two, three, four, eight, and nine. So these are five, oops, I'm in the wrong mode, five, six, and seven. So this now sees one, two, three, and four. So this is a minimum of five. This sees only four. So this could be lower than five, and I think it has to be. Because if this was a six, these would have to sum to three, and they can't. This has to be a five, because the minimum I can put... So the reason this has to be a five is it can't be one, two, three, four. The minimum I can put in here is one and two, totaling three. And the minimum I can put in here is one. 
So if this was a six, this would be three. I'd hit nine and this would have to be a zero. This is five. This is one. These are one and two, which means these are the absolute minimums and that totals nine. So that one makes that two, which makes that one, which makes that two. This is not two. This is not two. This is a one, three pair. This one actually makes this the three and this the one. Okay. Now I've got these one, two pairs. This is actually a nine, which I've got five plus one is six plus one and two. This is a nine. So I've got another nine. There is a nine right there because of the nines looking into the box. There's a four down here because four can't go in either of those. Haven't even looked at the thermos yet. This has a minimum of four. This has a minimum of three. So this could only be four, five, or six, and this can only be three, four it could be, five it could be. If this was a six, this would have to be, oh, hang on, this can't go as high as nine. So this can't even be six. And if this is five, that'd be four, and that'd be nine, that doesn't work. So this is four, five, three, four. Now, if this is four, this becomes five and this becomes nine. This can't even be four. That's a three. And that could be a little tricky to see, but if this is four, this is five, that's nine, and it can't be. So this cannot even be four. So that is three. If it's three, four, this is seven. If it's three, five, that is eight. I wonder if you can fully resolve the arrows before you do the thermos. This is a triple now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is five, six, or seven now, because it has to be, it can't be one, two, three, four, and it has to be lower than that. So I've got to put eight and nine somewhere along here. Probably one of them is going there. Well, I can't put eight or nine there. So yeah, and I can't put eight or nine there. This is an eight, nine pair. Because in this row, I can't put eight or nine there because this one's in the box. I can't put eight, nine there because what could I put higher on the thermo? I can't put eight or nine there because what would I put higher on the thermo? So that is an eight, nine pair. So these are five, six, and seven. So this is six, seven, eight, and this is seven, eight, nine. So five, six, hang on, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are all one, two, three, four. Can't put one in those. Can't put one part way along a thermo. That is a one. That can't be a four because uh, nothing higher than it. That can't be a two, nothing lower than it. Two, three, three, four, two, three, four. But what have I got limited here? Five, six, seven, nine has to be in one of those two. Is there something more limiting happening here? I feel there should be. probably just paying attention to the wrong place. This now has a maximum of seven, maximum of six, maximum of five, maximum of four, maximum of three. So one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six, five, six, seven. Okay, that's interesting. Well, that actually, I, that can't be five. That can't be five. That can't be five. So that can't be four and that can't be three. Oh, and there's a three looking at that. That's a two, that's a one. And that was all because of that five. Oh, there's the fours over here. This is a six, this is a seven, this is a five, this is a five. There is no five here. This is four, six, seven, must have a four. 
three, four, eight, nine. Well, I can't put three up here because of that. That is a three. So this is four, eight, nine. There's no nine there. Actually, there's no nine in the box. That's a four, eight at the top. That is a nine. That is an eight. I take eight out of both of those. This is five, six, seven. So this becomes nine. There's no eight there. Hang on, this is six, seven, eight. This is a triple. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, cables, sorry. Um, and there's a three here. So there's no three here. This is a three, which means that's not a three. Four, five, five must be in one of those two. Four, 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 four is not there. That is eight, that is four. So this is a five, eight pair because five, five puts five up here, but not in that cell. Eight, eight puts eight up here, but not in that cell. That's a five, eight pair. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are six and seven. That's a six, seven pair. So this is a known triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, and nine. Well, this can't be one or two because it's too far along a thermo. That is a nine. Uh, that's a one. That's a two because of the two looking at it. Hmm. Two, three, two, three, four. Oh, the seven looks back, making that a six, taking six out of both of those. So this is a five, seven pair. So this is two, three, or four, and it's not four. So this is two, three, means that's four. So what is missing from here? Two, three, and eight. Well, there's no three there. Oh, there's no two there. That's the eight. So this is two, three. In this row, is that the only place for a two? Yeah, in this box, this is the only place for two. Well, that four makes that a three. That does the same thing. That's two, that's three, that's two. Over here, I can remove six from those. I could have done that when I got that. That would have been a lot easier. Four, seven. Which makes that a six, which makes that a seven, which makes that a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a seven. So this is also known. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, and eight. Now this can't be an eight because there'd be nothing between this. Now can this go five, six? Actually, I can just look at what these are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. I can't put nine on the thermo. So, um, these are a six, seven. So the order is known because I need to not select too many digits. This is a six, seven, and the order is known because they are on a thermo. So that is a six, that is a seven, which makes this an eight. Eight is three plus five. Five makes this a four, which takes four out of there. The eight looks back, making this a five and this an eight. The eight looks up making that five and that eight. Um, in this box, I need one, two, three, four, six, and seven. There is no six here, which makes the four, seven pair. There's no six here, so this is the six. So I've got four, seven pairs, which will get resolved somewhere over here, I imagine. Okay, so let's look at this triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right. So there's no two there, there's no three there, there's no three or four there. That's a two, that's a four, that's a three. The two looks up making one and two, which looks over making one and two. Um, I think I want to look at this column now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these are five, six, and seven, all of which are higher than three. There is no five here. There is no six here. Uh, 
Okay, that was a lot less. Oh, hang on, this six. Five is less than six, so that is seven. The seven mean, can only go up to eight. This five makes that four and that five. This is a six, seven pair, making that five. That's a lot more fruitful. In this column now, I'm missing one and nine. So that's one and that's nine. In this row, one, two, three, four, seven is correct. So this is seven, this is four, this is seven, this is four, this is seven. Uh, this is now six because I already had a seven. One, two, three, four, five. This is an eight. Uh, this looks up, this is a seven and this is a six. And that is the correct solution. So that was Arrows versus Thermos by Rodrigo Mahu. Um, I didn't reset my timer before I started the puzzle. So the time that was shown there was probably completely wrong. Need to get into the habit of doing that now that it displays the timer in the solution box. But um, we'll see how that goes. Um, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. It was very much doing the Arrows and then the Thermos, but that's okay. Um, I like puzzles where you get to make deductions. Like the... Learning tricks like the the forced arrows um, and that then limiting this cell to be a three, which gives you the same trick here. And then all of the one, two, three, these placing the two fours and then that forcing this, which then forces this to all be minimums to make that a maximum. And then the interaction feeding into these thermos. Very, very cool. And if you're new to puzzles, not like it, it is almost gas level, but it's um, or genuinely approachable Sudoku level. But if you're new to these constraints, this these can be tricky to spot. Like the fact that I raced through it in, I don't know, um, yeah, I've been recording about 15 minutes. So the fact that I raced through it in 15 minutes does not mean that everyone should or could do that. Um, yeah, that's fine. Good little puzzle. Thank you, Rodrigo, for submitting it to me. I really enjoyed that one. Um, I hope you did too. Um, thank you for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.